Welcome and thanks for being with us on Community Connection. I'm your host, Tracy Christensen. With its national parks, monuments, and forests, Utah has a wide array of exceptional natural beauty. Today, I'm joined by David Whittakin from the Uinta, Uinta Wasatch Cache National Forest. And he's here to talk about how we can enjoy the wonders of Utah's many national forests all through the year. Absolutely. What, what are we missing out there? Uh, we have fantastic opportunities uh, all along the Wasatch Front and throughout the state of Utah. We've got campgrounds, we've got trails, we've got opportunities to recreate year-round, snowmobiling, ice fishing. Uh, they're, they're untold opportunities out on national forests. They're fantastic places to play and to go out and look at, at all that's out there. And you supervise a, a, a pretty wide area of national forest. Yeah, the Uinta Wasatch Cache National Forest uh, goes basically from Nephi up to Logan, over to the Heber Camas area, and even onto the north slope of the Uinta is out of Evanston and Mountain View. It's about 2.3 million acres, so it's, it's a lot of land to supervise. And you say it better than I do, too. <laughs> <laughs> so how can we find out about what's there and what fits our needs? and? We've got ranger district offices in, in communities throughout the state of Utah, and they've got information that they can give out. Our website is a fantastic place to, to go and look uh, for Forest Service information. Uh, we've got brochures and pamphlets that, that we provide that show people campgrounds, uh, trailheads, uh, the different recreation opportunities that are out there. They describe the number of sites, uh, how to get reservations at some of those sites. Uh, we've got driving tours, places like American Fort Canyon and the Mirror Lake Highway that are some of the most scenic drives that you can do in the state of Utah. Uh, you can find out about all that stuff at, at our offices and on our website. And I understand you have some good news for recreators as far as fees changing. Well, our, our fee area is changing somewhat on the Mirror Lake Highway and, and the uh, American Fort Canyon. Uh, we're reassessing how we charge fees. On American Fork Canyon, we're going to be moving our fee booth up above Timpanogos Cave. So folks who are going to Timp Cave won't have to pay the fee to drive on uh, the American Fork Road uh, in American oh. Fork Canyon. And we're also uh, uh, pulling Cascade Spring out. That's going to be uh, kind of a standalone area uh, for fees. And then on the Mirror Lake Highway, we're going to be charging for the ATV area that is there and then individual recreation sites, but not to drive the road itself. So it's a bit of a change. but. Yeah, those fees have really helped us improve those recreation areas. The, the recreation areas in those areas are state-of-the-art, really fantastic. So I'd encourage anybody to go out and visit them. Yeah, and so what have you added to them when you say state-of-the-art? What, what do those fees go to provide? Well, they go to improve the campgrounds. So we've made uh, most of our campgrounds uh, accessible for handicapped individuals so they can go in and, and uh, uh, use a wheelchair on the, on the trails in the campground. The, the picnic tables are set up for them. Uh, they can hang lanterns. Uh, we've we've improved the outhouse facilities, so those are very important to people. That's important. Uh, so they like to have those in good shape. We're able to improve the roads, uh, build better trailheads. So those fees have really gone into improving those sites quite a bit. And what about the fire projects that you've had in the past, and what do you have planned this year for fire safety and? Uh, yeah, fire and fuels are always always a big deal along the Wasatch Front. When a fire starts, a lot of people see it, and 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 they get pretty worried about that. I, this last year, we treated about 16,000 acres of fuels, uh, both in the wildland urban interface, which are areas right against where people live, and out in the woods. And, and those have been successful in protecting campgrounds and protecting homes, and, and we're pretty proud of those projects. In the upcoming year, we've got projects planned in the, around Provo Canyon and in, around all of our recreation sites where we can get to them and then some uh, prescribed burning out in the woods in areas where we're trying to restore aspen or restore wildlife habitat. So we look at a variety of different options for that. But we're also preparing for the upcoming fire year. We've, we're in the process of, of hiring firefighters and we're, we're gonna be putting those folks out on the ground to fight fires. We're uh, you know, looking at uh, w where the best places to put those are, uh, those folks are. So we're, we're constantly trying to get ready for that fire season that hopefully won't be too bad this year. Let's hope it's it's some beautiful land out there and get out and enjoy it, right? Absolutely. It's Thank a fantastic so place to recreate. Thanks for being here, David. You're welcome. And you can learn more about the Uinta Wasatch Cache National Forest by visiting kbyu11.org and clicking on the community tab. There you'll find links that'll take you to various websites where you can learn more information about the National Forest and other activities you can do throughout beautiful Utah. Thanks and join us again on Community Connection.